Well, hello everyone, I am Fracture, and this is Let's Play at Divine Divinity on the PC. We're currently in Verdistus, but I do not think I'm going to stay here for long. We could learn how to summon a demon, but I don't particularly care about this quest. I think what I'm going to do, because it should be fairly straightforward, is head back to Riverton and see if we can find Ding Dingulf, Tinkulf, Tingulf, Lord of the Stolen Rings because he's selling wares under the counter without a license from the Merchant Guild. So you can get a license for selling wares under the counter. So let's go and see if we can find this guy, since we're standing right next to a teleporter. What's that one? Oh, sewers. Oh, that was that lizard teleporter that I couldn't and probably still can't activate because I never did find the scroll. So we're looking for... Mr. Tingolf. And I think we bumped into this guy once, didn't we? What in the... Hello, Melville. Oh. Second City TV dude. Me, 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 me. La, 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 la. Me, 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 me. What are you doing, sir? I'm preparing myself for my performance, Dullard. What are you performing? I'm reciting poems. The beautiful poems of... Elric Fassbauer. Oh, right. Right up there with Vogon poetry, no doubt. I have not heard of him. Could you give me an example? Oh, I don't know. Perhaps if I gave you ten gold pieces for the pleasure of hearing you. Oh, I just recalled this from a long time ago. Sorry, kind of foresight here. But the wizard that runs this store comes out to listen to the poetry. And I don't even think I did it last time, years ago. But it might be giving me an opportunity to get into his back room and take a poke around. So let's see if we can pull that off. Uh, can I... I don't think I can save while I'm talking. Perhaps if I gave you ten gold pieces. Yes, excellent. So, 63,000. Experience. That the winds are spoken words, whispering whispers, roaring, shouting, a voice from the outer worlds. No matter what race, no matter what species, the winds speak to us. And here he comes, I was right, and I still don't think I can quick save until the cutscene ends. Bravo! Bravo! Encore! A most excellent performance! And it is hard to listen to them. Uh, you But they me. are there. The voices of the wind. They guide us through our lives. Down the ages. The echoing of the wind. Crying. Whispering. Screaming. Yawning. Weeping. Breathing. Vomiting. Okay, so let's see if we can get into this guy. Oh, there we go. Get into this guy's back room now. I suppose we could probably rob the whole place blind. What the heck is this? Who knows? Ooh, not identified. Level 5. So I don't know what that is. Hey, you there! doing here? My back rooms are private. Get out! Okay, but we robbed him. I was expecting to be able to do something with that mysterious orb, but as we couldn't, I'm not that concerned, and I did get a dagger that's worth selling, and elemental hail. Ha! So what the heck? A free book. Now, we were looking for... what was his name? Something Gandalf or something like that. Do I have anything to sell? I probably do. Uh, why is this... Oh, I probably tried to sell it to somebody else. That's why it's sitting here. Sure, what the heck. Take the heel as well. Can never have too many of those. So he's getting a heck of a deal. But what the heck? So 
So I guess I don't know where this this Gandalfy type dude is. He's not making himself really obvious. He was down a back alley or something, I recall. Citizen. But I'd like to go in here and identify that dagger, if nothing else, we'll make a little cash. Hundred and fifty gold and it's worth sixty five hundred. And it is a nice dagger, isn't it? Look at that. Mana drain. Wow. I already know what the item is. Yes, I do in fact. Okay, so let's put that over there. Magical shield. I think we discover we didn't need. And I can't tell if there's anything new and exciting over there. But let's just take some of his cash and take a look over here. Well-crafted tournament shield, well-made armor. Is there anything else I want to get rid of? No, we'll keep that. Yeah, sure, there's a couple of things. Exceptional claymore and death blow we probably want to get rid of. That fire damage sword is nice, but I think we'll hold on to our heal or our health stealing sword. So let's get rid of that other stuff though. So that's the health stealing, the one we're using. Dwarven Ale, I really can't see the point. Claymore. We probably could get rid of some of this this meat and stuff we're carrying around. Fire damage. Oh, decisions. Well, if I get rid of it, then I don't have to worry about it. And again, I'm, I'm carrying this around thinking maybe I'll need it. It's not using a lot of weight. I really should eat some of this crap just to get rid of it. But that'll do for now. How's he doing? He's really at least liking me. I'm getting free hand jobs with the uh, the sale of my goods from his wife. Just in case you're wondering. Not that there's anything wrong with that. All right. So who was it we were looking for? Some sort of. Uh, no. Where the heck did I see him? I know he. I think he kind of stuck his head out right when we first visited the village saying hey I got some stuff you want to see and I turned him down flat being somewhere between chaotic good and lawful good and I really don't know where he is now hmm and he may actually not even be available during this time of night. He may only show up later in the evenings. Lieutenant Robin. Ah, here we go. Don't be dawdling, citizen. Move on now. There's an odd fellow called Tingolf who tried to sell me some goods of, shall we say, dubious or origin. I'd say he's the first person you should visit if you're looking to find out who's running the black market around here. Yes, we know about Tingolf, citizen. Unfortunately, there's never enough evidence to arrest him for long. Guess we'll have to find the people who deliver the wares to him. Oh, did that help my quest? Talked with Lieutenant Robin. The authorities have to know more about his suppliers. So, how do we do that? How do we find out about his suppliers? Who may his suppliers be? I think we'll just do a little shopping. I wish I could remember where I bumped into him. He was around the back of some store. Ah, there he is. Tingolf. I knew it. Maybe we'll have a little chat with him. What do you have for sale? Besides huge piles of cash. Anything interesting? 
Mage's sword? Nah. That's even worse. Hmm. Got some plus to vitality there. It's not bad. Lion's Bastard sort of reflexes. Improved speed. Constitution and offense. No, nothing of particular value to me, you'd think. Any of this stuff? Uh, farewell. I think this is probably like the other vendor. If I like something, I can just pick it up. Worn, worn, and these are all huge. Wooden door, and I imagine that's just like his house back there, so... All right, well, later, dude. Let's go talk with Tingolf. Well, met again. How can I help you? But remember to keep your voice down. The Duke's guards are always listening. How come you always have wares to sell when all the other merchants are have little or nothing due to the troubles? Hey, <laughs> yes, yes. Ah, the troubles touch everyone, merchant. Don't be so smug. You'll run low on merchandise yourself very soon. No, no, my friend, don't worry your pretty battle-scarred head about my merchandise. My companions and I have a cash nearby, and it's filled with choice items. I bet you're just drooling to buy. A good cash? Where is it? Well, I'm sure you'll understand that I can't tell you where. It's the sort of secret men die for, have died for, if you get my drift. Very well. So let's see what he does have for sale. Well, empty containers. Those are always good. I might actually buy some stuff from him. Bunch of traps. Mm, Semi-decent armor. This might be good. Rogues, ring mail. No creature. No, that's not nothing I need. Mm, health potion. Well, let's move some of this stuff over. He's also got a ton of cash here. Actually, I don't think I need any more small flasks, but it's only 60. Any top-of-the-line stuff? It doesn't look like it. I mean, it's just basic junk, really. All right. So let's see what the quest log says. Tingolf has told me about a secret deposit. It doesn't say secret anywhere there. Tingolf has told me about a deposit of goods nearby. He has also told me it's dangerous showing an interest in such things. Apparently it is near Riverton Market. But where? Well, that's good. good. Good question. But where? One would think it was maybe underground. I haven't marked anything on the map. We went and emptied that dark cave. Oh, is that it? If you remember, that had a cache and gold in it. Let's just run up there again and see if anything new's cropped up. I may have sort of jumped the gun on a quest there. Because we did go into this cave and killed two fairly low level. Or was this the one that had the vampires in it? Yeah, this is the one that had the vampires in it. It's not the one I was thinking of. All right. Out, 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 I say. And I don't recall a cache being in the sewers, but that's the only other place I can think of him talking about. Well, let's talk to this guard if he's still here, yeah. Nope, he's not interested yet. And I'm pretty sure we cleared this out really well. There was this. I wonder if that was it. I mean, we've nuked that place, right? This has got to be it, though. Uh, 
and we completely obliterated this. Completely, there's not a single item left that lights up. Well, I don't know what the solution is there. Secret goods, yours told me it's dangerous showing an interest in such things. Apparently it is near Riverton Market, but where? Yes, this looks like a job for the internet. And Dr. Elrath, um, yeah, we found it. Oh, I must keep clicking on this dude. I, yeah, okay. No interest in him. Well, I think we did. I think we did destroy his cache before the... Okay, well, I'm going to say... I have a feeling I'm going to record more than one today, but I'm going to say... I thank you for watching, and I thank you for listening. I encourage you to leave comments, suggestions, or infantile abuse. I promise I read it all. And if you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel or give me the thumbs up. And we'll see you next time, probably in a few minutes, because I'm just going to go and read about this little cache of Tingles. Anyway, we'll see you guys. Cheers.